Revelation chapter 3 verse 8 says, I know your work, see, I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it for you have little strength yet you have kept my word and not denied my name. The Lord says he is telling you that he sees your work. He knows everything that you do. And the Lord is saying because of that, the door has already been opened to you. God says, I'm just trying to get you to this place where the door is already waiting on you. Because sometimes this is how, this is the way God moves. He cannot open this door until you get to this place that's already been ordained for your life. Do you not know when you hear a prophetic word and they're telling you it's time for you to move? It's time for you to get out of this place that you've been at. And God is saying move. That is a prophetic word saying that you have to go. Saying that it's your time to be blessed the way that God knew it to be blessed. When I'm giving you a word and I'm telling you what the Lord is saying, that is your time to sow your seed and move and trust what God is saying. Because some of you don't understand this. This is all prophetic. This is what the spirit of God is telling his children to tell somebody else. God speaks to us. Because we have to get to this place. Even if your eyes aren't open to receive it, even if your ears aren't open to hear it, God has to speak to somebody else to get a message to you so you can move. Because you can't miss what God is about to do in your life. You cannot miss this. If you miss this opportunity, that means God has to literally go around and try to say, how am I going to put this door here for them to go into? How am, how am I going to give this, them this opportunity to walk into? How am I going to do this? Because they did not listen to the word of the Lord. So now I have to redirect their life because they didn't hear what the prophetic woman or the prophetic man said. Proverbs 16.9. We make our plans, but the Lord determines our steps. We make our plans. Did you hear that? You make your own plans. You write down what you want. And honestly, the Lord gives you this desire. He gives you a desire that you've never had before. And then you start writing stuff down saying, okay, by the end of 2025, God, I want to do this. By the end of 2025, God, I need this to happen. So the Lord is saying you can make your plans because honestly, he gave you some of them plans. And he says he's going to determine your steps on how it's going to go. So you can write down some things. And God says, I'm going to take number three that you wrote down and I'm going to allow you to do this first. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you tracking with me? So the Lord is saying, I'm going to direct your steps. Psalms 20, 24 says, the Lord directs our steps. So why try to understand everything along the way? His ways are not your ways. His thoughts are not your thoughts. So he needs you to literally trust in him with all of your heart and lean not onto your own understanding. But in every way, submit to him and he will direct your steps. So he's telling you, he's going to direct your steps, but don't try to understand why he chose this to be first. Why he chose you to do this before you did that. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you're getting what I'm saying, just type amen or yes, say something. I want to know that you're getting this because I'm taking you somewhere. And I don't have that much time. In the Lord, with all of your heart, lean not unto your own understanding and all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. It's not hard, y'all. It's not hard. Yes. I see some people you need prayer. Okay, that's, that's fine. I will pray for you. I always do. Listen to this. The Lord says... In this season, the elevation that's about to go up in your life, you cannot lean onto what you already know because that means you're cheating. That means you're really not even fully into what God is telling you to do. You're cheating because you're only doing what you're used to doing. You're not doing something brand new. You're not doing something that's difficult. You're not doing something that's challenging. You're not doing something that's going to put your, your, the work into you. No, you're doing something that God is telling you to do that don't seem easy. Because the path that you're supposed to be going with God, sometimes it's not easy. 
Because God is trying to elevate you. He's trying to expand your wisdom. He's trying to expand your understanding. He's trying to expand your strength. Because where you're going, you got to have this. You got to have the strength. You got to have the wisdom. You have to have the understanding and the knowledge. Let me tell you this. The Lord says this. Thank you for sowing your seed, Vaughn. I see you. Listen to this. What does it mean to be predestined by God? God has predestined all who are in Christ, who be conformed to the image of Christ and adopted as children of God. Pause. It says God has eternally chosen those. He says those whom he intends to save. So some of you are on this walk with the Lord, but how you got here was because he already knew you was going to walk with him. He already knew he was going to save you. Do you not know God doesn't choose everybody? I want you to understand everybody in this world don't believe in God. They believe in other things. There's only one true and living God. It is our God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There is no other above him. There is no other that can save you. I want you to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. He says he's already predestined your life for greatness. He's already saved you. He called you out out of everybody in line. He says, I'm picking them. I need them. I need them. I need to have them because where they're going, it's about to be elevation. The other people can stay where they at. He says they can stay where they at. The Lord says I already predestined your life for greatness. He says he's already predestined your life. It was already decided before you was put into your mother's womb. It was already decided that you was going to be above and not beneath. It was already decided that you was the lender and not the borrower. It was already decided that you are going to have wealth. It was already decided that you was going to have kids. It was already decided that you was going to start a business that it was going to flourish. It was already decided. This isn't no, oh, this just happened. This is just luck. No, this is Jesus Christ doing it. What are you? Come on. This is what it is. It says this in Ephesians chapter Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 in him we were also chosen having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything with the purpose of his will so he's saying everything is going to work out out for you because you are in Christ Jesus the Lord is in you and you are in him he says it's going to work out it's going to work out. Even though you might have to overcome some things, you might have to go through some things. You might have to go through disappointment. You're going to have to go through people lying on you and accusing you. You're going to have to go through maybe something bad happening. And I'm not saying bad where, you know, your, your life is going to be taken. No, I'm saying you're going to have to walk the walk the way Jesus walked the walk. You're going to have to go through some things. And he tells you in scripture that he's already overcame it. So if he's overcame it, you're going to overcome it too. So why are you feeling this way? The Lord is telling you he's already overcame this. So if he overcame it, you're about to overcome it too. You're about to get everything that you need in this season. This is already ordained for your life. It's happening one way or the other. It's happening. Nobody can stop what God is about to do for you. The doors are going to be open. You don't want to live like this. You want to live the way God has already ordained it to be. Listen. God tells you. He says, I've already sat before you an open door. So I want you need to get happy about this. Because he is literally telling you he's already put a door ahead of you in your life. 
that that means that you're going to have everything that you need. You will not have to want for anything. God is going to make a way for you. God says, just give me your little and I'm going to multiply that. God says, just give me what you have and I'm going to multiply that. And you about to have everything that you need and want. The Lord says, I know that you don't have much right now. But he says, if you can just give me what you already have, I can literally turn that around and it's going to be triple the amount with what you started with. The Lord says, because what I'm about to do in your life, no eyes, I don't think you understand this verse. No eyes have seen, pause, nobody has seen this naturally. No eyes have seen, no ears have heard. You haven't heard this. Your family haven't heard this. And neither has it entered into your heart what God is about to do for those who love him. Listen. You can't imagine what he's going to do for you. I want you to get this in your spirit. God says in us, in the spirit, God says in scripture, he says, let those who has ears hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to the people. But you have to receive this. Because your life is already ordered by the Lord. It's already ordered. Some of you wake up and you're like, man, I got this idea. I got this plan. Who you think that came from? It came from the Lord. It came from God. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. He says he already have plans to, to prosper you and give you a hope and a future. Listen. Listen, God will provide for you to get to where you have to go. Because what God is going to do in your life, he's going to give you the resources. He's going to give you the money. He's going to give you whatever you need to get there. All God needs you to do is trust him in the process. Trust him in the process. Because your days ahead of you are going to be many. You are going to prosper in everything that you do. God says he's going to bless the hands of your work. He says wherever your feet tread, it shall be yours. So if you see a house that you like and you walk in the yard and you start praying saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, you told me, God, wherever my feet tread, it will be mine. So, God, I thank you right now that I'm going to receive this house. I thank you right now that I am going to receive this car. I thank you right now. If you start doing this, God is going to open up the floodgates of heaven and he's going to drop blessings that you won't have room enough to receive in your life. You're not going to have room enough to receive these blessings from the Lord. In this season, you are about to literally see open doors, miracles that the Lord has already prepared for you. God is still in the business. He is the same today as he was yesterday and forevermore. He is going to do a mighty, 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 mighty big thing in your life. The seeds that you are planting God says, get ready because you're about to reap your harvest. God looks at the heart. So when you receive a word and you plant your seed on the word, God says you're going to reap a harvest if you don't give up. You're going to reap a harvest. If you do not give up. But God says in this season that you're going to have to have your expectations high. You're going to have to have your expectations where it needs to be. Without expectations, without 
planning, without thinking, without getting ready? How can he deliver a blessing if you're not ready to receive? How? You have to plant where you want something to manifest at. Because God says, let them who has ears hear what the spirit is saying. Everybody don't hear. You thinking just because you on this live, you hearing what I'm saying. No, you're not. You're not. Everybody don't hear this. Only the spirit hears it. Only the spirit hears what I'm saying because I'm speaking from my spirit. Not from the flesh that you see on the camera. I'm speaking from inside something that you cannot see, but you can hear it coming out of my mouth. So the Lord is saying in this season, open doors are going to come. But God says, I'm watching how you, what you do in this season. I'm watching how you move. I'm watching the way you care for people. I'm watching the way you love. I'm watching the way you give. I'm watching the way that you are a good servant. He says, because all of this is principles. And if you're not ready for what the Lord is about to do in your life, then you're not ready. But for the people that's ready, I need you to get prepared. I need you to get prepared. Because God is about to do something in your life that nobody can take credit for. Nobody can take credit for this but God. Y'all, I'm about to get off here. I pray that this word has blessed you on today. I told you guys in the beginning, I woke up be up here long. I pray that this word has blessed you. I pray that you receive it. Today is Sunday. Receive this word. Receive it. Receive it with gladness. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you all have a great rest of your day. If you want to sow into this word, I want you to sow. And put open doors. Open doors are coming my way. In the name of Jesus. This is on you. This is on you. This is your seed. You put whatever that your spirit is telling you to sow on this seed. And watch God send you a harvest. A double portion of blessings. He knows your heart. He knows what you have and what you don't have. So I pray that this word has blessed you on today.